And he chokes. He will choke you. I want you to be very careful. Okay. He's done it to me. He's literally made friends with the spirits. <laughs> I smell like there's something burning. I smell like a, like a burning like flesh. Look who decided to join. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Are you so, you're oh that excited, huh? I've been wanting to do this since you came here. I was just telling her, we were just up there and it's like. <laughs> well, I just walked up there and it's dark. Like, it's dark. Am I going to have a light? No, it's nah. in the dark. Maybe in the dark. Yeah. No, I know, but how am I going to like walk around and see shit? Night vision. Just use your phone. On the camera. Like yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hopefully I don't fall down any stairs. Nah. No, I got a light, dude. <laughs> I got and I got look. I got these right here. Okay, cool. I mean, so. I, I can just use like a red light too if you want. Let me see the wise guys. Oh, oh sh watching tattoos. Look at these guys. You guys are a bunch of wise guys. Yeah, we are a bunch of wise guys. Oh no! First time I shaved my legs in 18 years. <laughs> nice. It'll grow back hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Hope so. What are you seeing? He's always standing there. It's a guy that stands there. Yeah, he's literally just standing there. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I saw it. I saw it. There's like a dark figure at the yeah, end of that hallway. Yeah, that's him. Or is that Gene? Uh, please just look out. Is that Eugene? Please be Eugene. Chris? No, that's... He always is down there. He'll walk away. He oh, he's not there anymore. No. Oh my God. <laughs> so I zoomed in on my, my camera and I totally saw it. What's on the left? They said don't go to the left. Keep going. What's Do you hear? Left? Do you what hear was that? Was that a, that's them. The, the bars, yeah. They're clicking. And I heard it on the left. Yeah. I just heard. Do you hear this? Oh. Did you hear that? What was it? They're shuffling. I just heard someone say hello. Did anyone hear that? No. Hello. 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 My loss is really long. That's what she said. See the guys in the middle on the left? Ooh. Sure, it's a little. This is big. Is this like children? No, this is like called the. Um, this is where you would grow a mattress if they were bringing someone into the cell. Oh, okay. What was that? This was the women's. Yes. There's someone I lost on that side. Did you see that? I heard it. Yes. Yes. Wait, what's happening? No, it's me. I walked in and I was like, are there children here? She's like, no, they just put the mattresses there, whatever. And then I would walk in and I was like, someone lost a baby, you know? And she was like, there were pregnant women here. And I saw a little boy down the down there, and I guess you, you've seen him too. I have his name. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to get his name. We got an EVP, even with it. Yeah. And we've got him saying, I want to buy a ticket. I want to buy investigators. They got that. So this used to be Warm Springs Hotel. So one time, being a hotel, you had kids and women here. Mm -hmm. And we don't know if they're buried on the property. Because yeah. if they got killed or died, they'd probably bury them right on the property. Right. This is where they would have your uh, your back curls. So this is where I would have been? Yep, you would have been in here, I'm sure. Uh, oh, yeah. Omar's for you. Wait. <laughs> that actually works? <laughs> Omar's for you. Yeah. Oh, Omar's for you. Yeah. 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 I don't know if it's orbs or dust. It's probably dust. 
orbs come at you, it just goes up. Yeah. Oh, those got those look like orbs. Yeah. <gasps> what the hell was that? What was that? Chris? You feel like something's following me? Yeah. I keep getting like Angelina or Angela or something. I think she's the one who lost her, her baby. She's like, she seems very disturbed. This woman, she seems like she's just kind of looking for someone. Maybe she's looking for her kid. I don't know. But I see like blood. I think she had some sort of miscarriage or something. She's, she's saying that they basically they didn't take care of it better. She was upset about the way they took care of it. She's blaming like them for it. Okay, so Kelsey, just remember you keep following the halls. Okay. They're gonna take you out, watch your footing. vision of like a cave. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Oh, sure. We feel like they would sneak things through the cave. Did they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sneak things. I'm sure they did. So this was called the library, but this is like the oldest part of the prison. So we don't have many records, but I think they have cells here. Do you see this? Oh wow. These could have been holding cells for them going into the prison at one time. Sometimes it's hard for me to differentiate my psychic visions with my medium ones. So sometimes I don't know if someone's showing me something or if I'm just seeing something from like the past, you know? So I just get like confused sometimes, but it's just like so much. You're ready to huh? Yeah, it's like a lot <laughs> of information. So right now we're gonna go into, this is death row cell. Watch your footing. Watch your footing. Get it still in there. Oh my, nothing's gonna hurt you. Dirt? Look, up, look above the door. Oh, yeah. No, we're good. Oh, who did that? Nicely, so somebody that probably ended up on our table. That's like really good. I know, they would have used that, right? I know, like very talented. This was from an inmate? Yes. All these drawings, and see the white stuff? That's toothpaste. Um, yeah. They would use toothpaste to draw and hang things up. I just got something saying they're gonna be pissed off. Yeah. Because she's gonna, she's gonna confront someone here. Most likely. Look, she's like, she got that evil ass look like, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you go ahead of me. Okay, come with me this way. This is last night's cell. Go and me too. So this is where you're gonna spend like your final, like part of Ooh. your investigation is gonna. I just be almost here. threw up. Watch out. I just almost threw up. Why? I don't know. I just burped up, and it would taste really nasty. Did they ever kick this? Did they kick the bucket? Yeah. <laughs> so did they have their final meal in here too? They have their final meals in here, you guys. I just keep seeing people praying. It's like a lot of energy. It's just like different energies because I mean, you think about it. Some people were innocent. Some people were, you know, like remorseful. Some people were not and they were angry. But it just feels like it's like a collection of all this energy because I mean these are if this is their last meal, it's part of their last moments, you know, like that energy probably builds up and within twenty four hours they're taking a walk. Yeah. Yeah. I just see someone like literally praying, like on their knees, like praying. Okay. So the next place, walk them in there. G. <gasps> G. G. There's literally the, the name G. He, he always comes around. G. 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 John. You weren't picking up on him? 
Yeah, she was saying that as she was walking in. He had probably the worst death here, right? Yes. Wow. He died in seven minutes. They put him in a gas chamber that was actually the old butcher shop, and it took seven minutes for him to die. When our great grandfather saw that, he said nobody will ever take that long to die. So our great grandfather was Matt Penrose, who was a warden here. Oh wow! And he built a uh, legal gas chamber. They died in two minutes. This is crazy. Did you say he's nice looking? Yeah, yeah. he is. He's a nice looking man. <laughs> so from John on to the they were asked, did you want to be shot or hung? All these guys were hung. But he was the only one shot. He wanted to be shot. Then uh, Guy John was actually the first one that was gassed, but in a horrible way. From here on, they were gassed. Oh, yeah, I know, right? I think he was 18. That's terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> And guess what? Wait, this is literally the mustache. <gasps> but it was bigger when I saw it. It was a little bit bigger. Well, his mom used to call him Carol. He could be a girl or a boy. That's what she would tell him when he was growing up. Oh, that's literally what I was telling him. That's why I freaked out when you said Carol. So, so when he grew up, she used to take him when she used to have sex with men and put him in a dress. So he grew up hating women. He strangled 15 women because he grew up hating women. And if you call him Carol, he does not like it. You call him Eddie or Mr. Cole. I wonder if like someone else was like, Carol's here. You know, like kind of like messing with him or if I just got that name. I don't know, that's crazy. No, he's here. He is here. Maybe he was warning me, like, yeah, I'm here or I'm something. Not, I don't better know. hope we don't okay, show I, you. I want you to be I kind of feel bad because I thought it was a girl. I literally a told girl. Omar, I was like, there's a woman's name. <laughs> and he chokes. He will choke you. I want you to be very careful. Okay. He's done it to me. He's choked you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then Saturday, we were doing where I was... I had a headset on, and the guy was asking questions I couldn't hear him. He said I was answering right on, and then they asked Carol Cole if he thought I was his, and he said, I have her. I said, I have her. I have her. And I feel bad that I said the girl name. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, look at this, is it? Is this like the original bed? Or oh, this yeah, this is her mom. The last one executed on here was Daryl on April 26, 2006. How many people were executed in this room? 50. Oh, in this room, right there. 53. Oh, 53, okay. But you know what? There's records that went up in flying when it was a hotel jail because it burnt down. So a lot of people died here. We don't have records on in the wow. 1800s. Wow. Oh, Nina's calling. Shit, I guess we gotta get started. I totally forgot we gotta yeah. get out of here. All right, fam, we're about to send Kelsey on her way. Woo! 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 I don't know if I'm ready. Good Dude, luck. here we go. That's your camera. Good good ready. Ready. Oh, ready. Thank you. Have to I'm really scared they for sent, her. They oh, gave boy. me napkins in case I start crying. <laughs> 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 it's just good. But Susan <laughs> drew her a little map. Huh? I'm gonna carry some. All right, we just sent Kelsey off to do her overnight by herself. She is locked up beyond these doors. Down that way, there's another door. Just beyond this door is another door that goes out to the yard. So yeah, she is locked up. Um, this is the only bathroom, so that's where we're at right now. But this is something that I didn't get to show you earlier. All the really, really bad, bad, bad ones, they would have court here at the prison just for them. And it would be right here. How cool is that? Like, look, it's set up like a little courthouse. So yeah, there'd be a judge that would be here. I don't know why they wouldn't take them to the actual courthouse. It must have been that bad. So Kelsey has your number, right? Yeah, I just gave it to her. Just so in case she, she yeah, runs into some in trouble. Case. Oh, look, it actually says courthouse right there. That's cool. Nice. I'm kind I of think if she goes into the cell house that there could be issues. Yeah, I'm kind of scared for I her. feel like the cafeteria, I think she'll be okay, but I'm not sure about the cell house and the... 
the yeah. death chamber. I figured this, the cafeteria is a good start. Yeah. That's kind of where I started. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of activity there, but look at the outside. Did it's you so hear neat. anything yet tonight, Omar? I heard some noises. Yeah? Yeah. Heard like something slam and then we where heard like you? a... When that happened? Um, we were on the right, or no, where were we? But no, we were in the infirmary area. That's where I heard like something. And we all heard oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah, when That's I was with Kelsey. When we went into the um, cell house for the hero shots, it sounded like someone was like walking upstairs. Oh, wow. It was really interesting. I thought it was you guys, but then you guys didn't come, so. <laughs> you know what I didn't know until today? I'm the very first person to do an overnight here by myself or alone. Right, right. Hey, what the f Dude, there's something like moving underneath me. Wait, do y'all get earthquakes here? Yeah. I just felt the ground move. Oh, sorry, I farted. Chris is saying he farted. I'm being serious, though. No, it was probably vibration underneath us. It was like a... Like. Underneath us is the warm springs. Here, I'll let you know if we had an earthquake. I have to be out. So, something was moving underneath my... Wow, that was weird. Okay. They're pretty common. No earthquake. So... Well, so maybe it's getting there. ready to happen. You're just a rumble. No. I I'm telling you, it was like a... You know when your stomach kind of has that little... <laughs> so do you know what a hot <laughs> spring is? <laughs> okay, like, maybe... Do you understand uh, how they work? No, I don't. Oh, Okay, so they're shower. basically volcanic energy, or they're volcanic. Huh. Heated water that seeps up from way down. So maybe that's what it was. But sometimes gas happens, vapors happen, and stuff like that, and it causes vibration in the ground. Is that pond over there? Uh -huh. Let's go show That's where it comes from. That's about 95 degrees. Come on. That's how much? 95. Oh my God. That's a warm spring? The Come pond? with us. Oh, I want to see. Here. Is it like a jacuzzi? <laughs> yeah. It'll boil your house. <gasps> this is like the door of where the hotel sat. So the oh. hotel was like long ways. I forget that there was a hotel here before. Okay, nobody ever sees this. Oh, are we getting a special tour? Go Ooh. under. Okay. Wait, no way. We're going under there? Why not? Okay. Be careful. What a tree. Thank you, Susan. Wait, what? <laughs> I just want to see if you go under it, and you did. Okay, hang on. He's going to open it. Watch out. Oh, he's going to open it? We're going to walk in there. Let's show you what. Who was asking about if there were. Oh, that was. Have, like, Kelsey? Kelsey. Saying, are there like, like caves under here? Are there like caves? I'm going to show you something. Oh, cool. I think this is what she's talking about. It's crazy because, uh, just felt an earthquake and I'm underneath a ginormous prison right now. What? Back in the day, you guys, we don't know what these were, but look, these are steel doors. They held somebody. Hannibal Fill these. Lecter. Fill those. Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And back in the day, they could have had cages in here. Oh, these are lockers? Well, now they are. Yeah, they keep lockers down here. This, look at this. This goes all the way underneath the prison. Wait, I didn't know that you all had a basement here. Yes, I told you that. Whoa. That's pretty creepy. That's wild. Go walk back there. Oh, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Come on, go. Yeah. There's nothing that's going to hurt you. Well, yeah, I'm good. So, okay. since I got here, I've had this insanely crazy headache that I've never gotten before. Uh, even the last time I was here, I didn't feel the way that I felt. And Susan said that a lot of people do feel the same way where they get this pressure like right in through here and they get dizzy. Same thing that's been happening to me. But I'm all better now. I'm good. Did you see the movie Saw? They sit someone here. Did they film Saw here? <laughs> it looks like it. Interrogation. Yeah, right here. Why did you do it? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Where were you on January 4th, 1962? You know what I'm feeling though, like to be real? How many people were just in here against their own will? Pretty much pleading guilty to something yeah. they didn't do. So the springs were in under us, you guys. The hot springs. Oh, look at that. There's water there. It's natural hot springs. If y'all didn't have that pump there, would it like uh, overflow? It, this oh, yeah. used to be all underwater. Oh, wow. Until we fixed it. That's why the pumps are in here. Oh, where does that go? Well, we have to go around up there, but well, we could go in the education room that you never got to either. Yeah, there's a lot that I missed. Yeah. 
This place is so big, you guys. There are places that I have yet to ever go to. Really? You really? Too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like this place was haunted even before it was a prison. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Have y'all ever had, like, any experience or anything down here? Um, we don't hang out down here. We did enough of us spare. Have y'all ever been inside here? Can't even open it. Yeah. Wow, I wonder what secrets are in there, right? And There's probably want, some Pepto Bismol or something in there. They want to open it, I think, up right, so I don't know. I don't even know how they're going to move it. You can't even move this thing. I don't even know how it got here. There's people that specialize in opening these safes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like they can figure out the combination and everything. There's a key. Yeah, but the There's door's no already combo. off. Yeah. This isn't really yeah, safe so much as it is. The door is gone. You can see it's a door. It's crazy. That's how you get to Narnia. <laughs> Narnia. <laughs> All right, fam. So I'm gonna go get Kelsey right now. She's been in Nevada State Prison a long time. It's already two-ish, a little bit past two in the morning. And yo, big shout out to these guys because we were only really supposed to be here till one and they let us stay a little bit longer. So yeah, love Chris, love Susan, amazing people. If y'all want to do an overnight here, make sure to mention our names because we love this. This is, even Tiffany said it, out of every place that we've been to so far, this is her favorite. Oh God, what the? You're one of those people. <laughs> I mean, just You're one of those people. She be doing those Irish goodbyes and stuff too. <laughs> he jumps like Woo! Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> you got me good. I, I mean, I felt that there was something behind me. And don't forget to mention Nevada State Prison Paranormal on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. She's just like that. <laughs> Nevada State Prison Paranormal Paranormal on Facebook and Instagram and Instagram and MySpace Damn, what does that smell? So I was explaining the overnights. Can you explain the ghost walks? Um, they come in for a couple hours. We walk them around and tell them the ghost stories there And what do those usually run like how much do they cost? $50 for two hours 50 bucks? So we that's awesome. We have 20 people, so in two hours, we make $1,000 for the prison. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah. And guys, there's no profit being made from money being collected here at NSP. It usually goes right back into renovations and things like that. And I mean, as you can see, it's an old prison. This is why it's probably one of the cleanest places that are like abandoned, because they, they keep this place clean. Mm -hmm. They do repairs, they just put safety rails too. It was like $7,000. So being that Nevada State Prison didn't have setups, you know, with electricity, we weren't able to really monitor her. So the security cameras that I set up here are wireless that we have no connection to. So there's no internet here too. So we have no idea if Kelsey's okay right now, which is another reason why I'm coming to get her. Kelsey! I don't even hear her, Susan. But you were really worried about her going into that gas chamber. Yes, because of Carol Cole. Yeah, she was gonna go there last, so that's probably where she's at right now. I think she's gonna be okay. Listen. She's okay. She's talking. Sounds like she's having a conversation. She is. We thought for sure Kelsey was gonna be running out of here. She's scared, but she stuck it out. She's a trooper. Yeah, she is. She is, definitely. Like we have to actually get her. Like, hey, let's go. <laughs> she probably spend the night here. <laughs> we should just leave She's her, just lock her up. Let's close the door. There's a couple beds in here. She's literally made friends with the spirits. <laughs> All you yeah. have to do is shut that with door. doors. Mm -hmm. Oh, she just said, she just sent me a text. She said, can you guys come get me? Oh, did she <laughs> Okay, she must be scared. All right, let's go get her. Kelsey? Yeah? You okay? Yeah. All right, we were like really worried about you. Well, she had a whole setup. <laughs> did you make friends? I did. I 
few of the names came through, and then I heard a tap here, and it said Floyd, and I look up, and there's Floyd right there. And he was the youngest one, so that was interesting. Yeah, 17. And he was like telling, he was talking about being shot, or can they shot me first, and then like, it says he shot someone. I don't know, that was interesting. It was, he said he had an injury too, and then I felt, I smelled like there was something burning. I smelled like a, like a burning, like flesh type thing. I don't know, but it was just, there was just a lot coming through.